Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to sync or how to uh, basically set up your new uh, Apple Siri speaker. They call it Apple Home Mini. So this is how it comes in a, in a brown box. So the first thing we need to do is obviously to unbox it. So this is it has a little uh, like a little tab that you pull on the brown box this came straight from apple and this review and uh, you know setup is unbiased so the whole thing comes like an eggshell comes apart like that which is very nice very nice i am impressed with how easy it was to open the master box and obviously the unit is inside another box and this box is basically uh, you know it's a uh, sealed uh, I mean shrink wrapped plastic wrapped so I need to use something let me see what I can use here I'm going to use a uh, a blade okay so I'm unplugging this I mean I'm wrapping it I'm, I'm used to unplugging and I'm wrapping it so I can have a okay so this comes open this way watch that's how it comes open okay I, I almost dropped it so be careful so you don't do the same mistake this is the first time I'm opening it together with you guys. Never seen this before. So, yeah. Let's see what comes with it. This is the cable, the wrapping. The cable is hardwired. That's one thing you need to know. It's not, I, do, I usually don't like hardwired cable because this is the spot where it develops problems. I rather have a plug here so I can plug it in and plug it out. So that's already off the bat a, a negative point about this. So let's see what else we have. The length of the cable is decent. The length is decent. Uh, it's it's about five feet, give or take. And these are little stickers. Every Apple item you buy, HomePod Mini. So the let me see how many watts this is because that's very important because the higher the wattage that means the more powerful speaker you have nine uh, five volts three amperes or nine volts 2.2 .2 amperes so five then three five is 15 watt this is a 15 watt speaker okay not very powerful but it's decent it's decent for for an average user you know Okay, so I'm going to put this away. Okay. And let's plug this in and see what we have and how to set it up. Okay, I plugged it in. This also comes off. And as you can see, the little circle is turning around. Okay, still circling around. Now I'm going to turn on my phone. Okay, so Apple Music Privacy and all that good stuff. We have to continue. This automatically recognized, but make sure, make sure that your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both on in your phone okay set up so this says living room um this is not gonna be in it's, it's it's gonna be in my office but for now i'm just gonna choose living room for the sake of you know not now uh well don't use personal request for now continue i agree uh, account settings yeah you can transfer those things now you have to 
look. Okay. Basically, what you have to do is you have to take a picture of this and to the center of that. This sends some kind of a computer code to this, which uh, enables this with that. So the same with Apple Watch. When you when you hook up, you set up your Apple Watch. There will be some kind of a image uh, graphics that you have to take picture with the camera for it to send data. So this is basically same concept. I have a secondary uh, microphone here because I want to capture the responses that this provides so it's still trying to set it up I mean it, this is real time I'm not speeding up the, or slowing down the process this way you can, you can get a glimpse there you go so it took nearly hi I'm Siri welcome to HomePod you can't tell but I'm waving to get my attention say hey Siri let's get started say hey Siri what can you do hey Siri Set the volume at 8. Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.56 p.m. Hey Siri. Hope you've had a good Thursday. What time is it? It's 4.57 p.m. Hey Siri, set the volume max. That's very loud. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I changed it. By the way, these lights that you see up there, those lights are reflection of the lights I have on top, uh, LED lights. So that's not a part of the lights in there. Hey Siri, set the volume 75%. Okay, I changed it. Okay, so let's do with percent. Now there you go. Now we learned that percentage is the best way to tell it to set the volume to. Uh, not at 20 or at this or at 5 or this okay so 75 percent is ideal for an average joe now let me ask them and see uh, if the, using this is as good as this so i'm going to ask about let's say the population okay hey siri what's the population of the united states as of 2019 the population of united states of america was 328,239,523 Alexa, what's the population of the United States? As of 2020, the population of the United States is 331 million people. Okay, did you notice this one gave you the population as of 2020 and this one gave you the population as of 2019? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it something about distance. Okay, hey Siri, how far is Las Vegas? Hey Siri, how far is Las Vegas? Las Vegas, Nevada is about 338 miles away by car. Alexa, how far is Las Vegas? Las Vegas is 340 miles away by car. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's, that's pretty good. So, oh, by the way, if you have the newer iPhones, I don't. Mine is not the newer one. But if you have the newer iPhones, you could play a song, bring your your phone close to this, and it will continue playing that song. Let me try that, as a matter of fact. Let me play a song and see what's up. So, let me go to Amazon Music and play a song. So, I'm going to play any song, just the first song. Okay, so it's not playing. Now I could airplay myself, but it's not playing to this. So yeah, so it's not automatically on the newer iPhones. You could bring your phone close to it. It will automatically transfer the song from it. Bring your phone close to it. It will transfer from the speaker back to this. Now one thing I realized on this you could airplay by the way you could still play your song on this by air via airplay you know that how that works like this you know you know like here let me show you this airplay you could do that living room home pod or living room apple tv you could airplay on either one of these two and oh, by the way one of the good features on on this one is that uh, you can buy two of these and set them up uh, apart and sync them together to act as a stereo speaker 
So basically, you could have a stereophonic sound uh, coming from these speakers, uh, when in reality, uh, these are two separate speakers. And the syncing time is impressive. I, I, I haven't, I, I only own one. I haven't uh, tried to sync them, but I've seen videos of people syncing them together and they get a very impressive syncing. Uh, like there is no delay or anything like that. Okay. So basically they're pretty good. The sound quality for the, for the, uh, for the size, like volume and everything. It's uh, impressive. I'm really impressed. So. Yeah, other than that, you know, this is what it is. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with overall, you know, everything it has. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.